welcome to another episode of Kicking It with Jay Lene. On this podcast, I sit down with amazing artists of all industries. We talk about who they are, where they're going, and how they want to inspire the next generation. On this episode, I sit down and talk to G So Blessed, a Sacramento, California native who started singing at the age of two. She was raised around a family of musicians and singers, so she truly believes it is in her bloodline to sing. She began taking her music career more serious after attending college classes, allowing her to gain confidence and start the journey of also songwriting. She wrote and released two original songs in 2021 and doesn't plan on stopping as she now has more new music out, Stand Up being one of her singles and On My Way just released recently. So sit back, relax and enjoy and get to know your next new favorite artist, G So Blessed. Crying and I put on my shoes Walked outside to the big blue sky And sunshine Homing birds fly hey. One came right up to my face And it sang to me And it sang Everything is gonna be alright Every little thing is gonna be alright yeah. Do not worry and try Yes, right. oh, yes, yes Miss me singing everything is gonna be all right okay we got g on the show today how you doing doing amazing oh my goodness i'm so excited to have her on the show i'm gonna explain a little bit of who she is but i want her to tell the world who are you other than g who who are you what, what's going on who introduce yourself <laughs> <laughs> um, so my name is Gianna, nickname G, um, artist name G, so beautiful. Um, and I am, I'm an artist. All I, right. I'm an artist and I think I'm stepping into my artistry. Like, okay. Now, um, <laughs> been singing forever and, um, I'm just like really excited to like start this journey and like be more serious and not sleep on myself anymore <laughs> um, who I am I'm just like I'm super chill humble funny <laughs> smart all of the above I feel like okay. I'm everything, I'm I'm everything. <laughs> that's right she has everything as she has told y'all okay she <laughs> And so we are excited to have her on. <laughs> respectfully, respectfully everything. <laughs> Miss G, I have a long connection with her. So before we get into like the artistry, I know her. I've known her since she was born. Okay, y'all. This is my little cousin, but we're not even gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about the blessing. <laughs> in that okay but we're going to talk about who she is as an artist stepping into her role as a up-and-coming artist um and we'll get into that a little bit more right and so um i'm going to start with a series of questions if, if you don't mind so uh, <laughs> so my first question that i always ask everyone is what made you start um, in your field, in music career, uh, what prompted you to say, hey, this is what I want to do? Um, that is a great question. <laughs> um, I will say it was maybe four years ago. Okay. I had experienced just some, you know, some heartbreak yeah. <laughs> type of stuff, you know. Been there. Been there. And, and, <laughs> and I feel like during that period, I started to write. Mm -hmm. And it helped me. Yeah. And then I would let other people hear it. And they're like, yo, I relate to this. Like, mm -hmm. I feel as you need to put this out. And I'm like, I should, I should. <laughs> I think that going through life kind of pushed me to like, use your gift. Yeah. God almost is like, you should use that because exactly. that's the key, you know? Right. Um, and so I, I really truly believe that that's, that's, the, that's what pushed me into it okay awesome okay god pushed you in being able to write out your feelings and 
just what you were going through in life at that time just kind of propelled you to that next level of like yeah. I want to really start doing this more than just a hobby but more as a like a career path right exactly yes that's what's up that's what's up so tell us something interesting now people are going to start to get to know you I see that you're posting more music you're releasing more music now so yeah. tell us something interesting about you that we might not know that's something that you don't mind sharing with the people let the people know. Let, Let the people know, know that's oh, yeah. interesting about me. Yes. Um, I think what's interesting about me is that I, oh my gosh, that's such a great question. <laughs> what, is what is interesting? Yes. Um, think about it. Think about it. It has to be some other than the music. Like what, what else can we relate you to? Oh, singing. Well, I don't really know if this is like interesting, <laughs> but outside of like my art, I'm a pharmacy technician. That is interesting. What do you it's mean? Like night and day. It's like night and day, right? So, <laughs> so I mean, I'm that's like, interesting. <laughs> I, so I, I mean, that that's like another side of my life that that's kind of toned down. Okay. Like, Heck, yeah. Well, that's important. We need you. Okay. Right. I'm essential. You are an essential <laughs> worker. So yes. very interesting and very well needed in this world. Okay. When we get sick and we need some medicine, we need a pharmacy to call. Okay. And you are right. <laughs> I'm there. Oh, yes. That is very interesting. <laughs> yes. All okay. right. Don't ever dim your light, okay? okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we know that you are recently, you said about four years ago, yeah. started writing your own music, um, started releasing music. We know now that you are a, also a pharmacy tech, which is excellent. So with all of these things that encompass you, G, as an artist, what is an adversity or some adversities um, that you've had to overcome in developing into an artist or as you're developing now? Um, I've had some, some times where I you know, you just start going to the studio. You're trying to figure out like who is cool to work with and yeah. who's not. I've had some times where I've been to a studio and I'm like telling, you know, the production crew or whoever, mm -hmm. you know, the producer. Yes. That I want, <laughs> and they kind of want to change like, mm -hmm. you know, what my vision is. And at first I'd be like, okay, yeah, we can do that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, not really speaking up for myself. And then I would get home and be like, this sucks. <laughs> right. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> and so I would say that I learned that as a woman um, in this industry, you got to speak up for yourself. And as an artist, you got to be true to who you are. Definitely. Like, don't fold because someone has ideas and, you know, and it's like, no, but this is my right baby, you know? Right, I right. That, but I would say that I've grown in that area for sure. Like, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Right. What I want, okay. <laughs> right. like, this is it. So, <laughs> but yeah, Love I would say it. for sure. Yeah. Yes, that's, a, that is 100% on point too, because I've uh, talked to some other women in the industry, and that's been one of the things that has been a theme almost, is like, we have to be willing to take a stand on what we want um, because automatically they feel like, oh, well, you know, we want to change your sound into what the industry is looking for. They, you need to be more sexy or you need to be right. more this and more that. And if you've already written a song and you've come in like, no, this is what I want. This is what I see. This is my vision then don't be afraid to share that with whoever you're working with. And so I 100% agree with you on that and not being afraid to do that, you know, right. moving forward, even as you continue to propel in your next level. So yeah, that's right on. That is right on. Yes. I love that. I love that. So standing strong, even male artists as well, like just, Especially if you're paying for your studio time, FYI, sidebar. Uh, <laughs> not cheap. 
<laughs> if you are paying for your studio time and you have employed producers and engineers and they want to come in and try to change your vision stand firm on who you are like yeah. that's period on period okay on period. <laughs> <laughs> so i love that i love that so um let's move shift a little bit so you got stuff that's already out um be all right or is, is it everything gonna be all right or is it just be all right just be all right okay be all right because i i be wanting to sing the whole chorus line <laughs> yeah it's just be all right hey, be all right you apologize because i'll be everything is gonna be all right yeah that's the name of the song <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's, that's it that's it um, <laughs> But let's talk about that song real quick before we go to the next question. So that's one of your your songs that you wrote, correct? Correct. Okay. So give us the story behind that song. How did you come up with that one? Ooh, so, <laughs> oh, man, this past two years, let me tell oh, you. Oh, gosh. Come I'm on. I'm trying man. to tell you, uh, twenty from 2020 to 2021, I was dog walked. Yeah. Like I'm so happy to just be here because I just went through a lot. And yeah. Specifically last year, I lost one of my close friends to COVID. Oh no. I'm sorry and to hear it's that. Just, I, yeah. Man, it's just it's that's El, so many people's story though. So it's just so it sad. Is. Yeah. And so, but it was just like her passing was just the cherry on top of mm, everything. Everything right? else. Yeah. And so like I do, like when I'm going through, I'm gonna start writing. Right. And, and you know, I literally those words in the song is just kind of what I tell myself or what okay. I feel like God is telling my spirit. It's like yeah. it's fine, wipe your tears, follow right. the light. Like I know it's dark, but you know, it's gonna be okay. And yeah. so <laughs> that's really how the song came about. Okay. And, um, and yeah, that's how that that was the influence. Okay. And it is a very inspirational song to everyone that's going to go out and listen to the song after this podcast. Yeah. You will be inspired by Be All Right. Um, I've had it. I added it to my playlist personally because even the words and the music combined, mm -hmm. spot on. So I want to give you props. Also, I ain't going to say my other little cousin, but he is my yes. cousin too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> was to, to hear the music all around but you guys did an excellent job on that sound so i want to give you your Thank props you. yes i, I you. love <laughs> with isaiah like yes he put, the cherry, he put the cherry on that song yeah isaiah is a very talented young man and yeah. he's also an up-and-coming producer i'm gonna try to get him on the show too but up-and-coming yeah. producer songwriter and excellent beautiful voice as well so yeah shout out to him hopefully you're watching so shout out to you as well <laughs> <laughs> so with that we got be all right out there getting the people's attention what's next do you have anything coming up yes so i actually have a new single coming out on the second okay called stand up all and right gonna be in time for black history month so i'm so excited <laughs> the next one and isaiah jaron is his uh artist name he mm -hmm. actually will, is a feature and my husband wayne all right also all right. on this song yeah <laughs> so. listen y'all i've heard a little bit of the song already and it's it's a winner it's a winner go ahead keep on sorry i'm sorry eh? <laughs> no, you're good you're fine so I'm really excited about um, the new single. I think mm -hmm. it's it's a song that is just really empowering. And, you know, as Black people, we need more songs that are empowering. Um, so that's what I hope that it does for the people. Yes, I think it is. It is right on time for the culture right now, um, for us standing strong, standing tall, and yeah. not being ashamed of the melanin in our skin and, and the power that we have behind us. Yeah. Uh, as a people and so I think the song is right on time I heard it I'm with it and it's I'm gonna give a little snippet of it post-production so y'all can hear it um and then go out and it will be on all streaming platforms correct correct yeah okay. so it'll be 
Yep, all streaming platforms. All yep. right, awesome. So that was called Stand Up. That one's coming out in February. You got anything else coming out? I do. So okay, okay. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff <laughs> going on. So I have a love EP coming out for okay. February, um, what, which will have like four songs on it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have my own separate EP called Therapy. Okay. In March, that's going to be coming as well. All right. So I'm just, I have so much. And yes. so it's going to be releasing very soon. February awesome. And February and March, y'all look for G. She's coming out with more music making her presence known as an up-and-coming artist from California, just doing the dang thing. So I love hearing that. I love hearing that. And we will definitely be looking out for that. Um, So, okay, we got the music. I'm loving this. I'm feeling the vibes. We doing big things, you know, standing up for the people, being all right, loving on each other. So we got (laughs) got all kinds of things coming our way so because you have all this going on what keeps you motivated even when you don't necessarily see the benefits of your craft you don't necessarily see the bad coming as fast as you want it to or the people aren't responding how you want them to what keeps you motivated you know that's a great question (laughs) I actually was thinking about this the other day. I, I, I feel like me coming out and being an artist and releasing my music is more for me. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Off of me because I have so many things that I, that I sing about and Mm -hmm. that I want to share. And it's just really for me to get it off. So I'm like, okay, I got to record this. I can't forget. I need to do this and I need to release this. Like, so I can, so I can get off of it. Right. Right. (laughs) I think that kind of motivates me. Okay. and I think whatever else comes with it is just a bonus. It's like, oh, yeah. that's cool. Like, All right. Because <laughs> I'm doing this for me. And All I actually right. have a song that's coming out that kind of explains what I mean when I say that to. But yeah, it's for me. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you. I think, uh, and the majority of people that I've asked that question have kind of had that along that same line. That's how they yeah. answered it. You know, as a creative, you have so much stuff built up. You see the world in a totally different view than the normal, right? And so when you're able to release that and get it out, it's like, oh, finally, like, that's what I've been trying to say. I've been trying to do. And finally, it's out. And I, it's like therapy. It literally is. Yep therapy to get the song out and whether it does good on the streaming platforms in the eyes of people or not the yeah. goal met and I shout out to my boy Don Juan DeSparco because he really inspired me with that like the goal was met was your your goal was to get the music out you did it yep. boom like it yeah. <laughs> so right. I love that after that is a blessing from the Lord so yep, exactly that. yeah definitely I agree with you yeah. definitely agree with you gotta release it release it. it gotta release it. let it go and that's how you keep more music coming you know as you just letting it go boom there it is okay okay I love that I love that so and one more uh I got a couple more questions if you have time ma'am for sure of course (laughs) oh wow I didn't put on my lashes for nothing (laughs) let's do this So as a newer artist coming on the scene, um, because you said about four years ago, so you writing, getting it all out there, which I love to hear. So what is some advice that you have received as a newer artist that's helped you um, as you're getting more involved in the music industry? Some advice? Mm -hmm. I've gotten so much advice. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Can you just imagine? I know. Like I've gotten from my dad. Oh I know. I can know. <laughs> Believe me. I, I know, know you know. <laughs> I know you because they brothers. So I know you know. But um, <laughs> I would say, I would honestly say um, the best advice that I've received is that if you are going to sing your songs and record them, 
you need to make sure that they're the best quality and that you're satisfied before right. it rolls out. And because I, before I would just be like, okay, cool, that's it. Like I just, right. wanna, but now I understand like, oh, okay, maybe I should take a little bit more time with that part. Or maybe I should take off the ad lib so it's cleaner and they can right. hear me better. Um, so I would say that really has helped me mm -hmm. um, because I'm kind of new to, well, kind of. Back in the day, mm -hmm. I used to do some recording. Right. But, <laughs> I used to be in a little rap group. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> I remember that stage. You, yeah. <laughs> you changed my little performance. I know you remember, but <laughs> but now, now that I'm an adult and I'm a lot, there's a lot that goes into it that I didn't Definitely. know. That's the best advice that I've gotten so far. Yeah, it's making sure your quality is out there, how you want to be perceived by the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, that was great advice. Great advice. Also, yeah. I would throw in there is to continue to be true to who you are as an artist. You know, that all comes with the recording as well. You okay. want to make sure. And sometimes, honestly, and I, I'll just speak from my own experience, Sometimes you just want to get it out. Yes. So, what is that? Can we talk about that really quick? What is that? What is that? We can. We definitely can because sometimes, and what I've learned mm -hmm. along this journey, because I've been doing this for a little while now, yeah. sometimes you don't connect with producers or um, engineers how you want to, how you in. Yeah. It. and sometimes you and what you envision and you learn along the way you actually can produce yourself and that's what I learned and sometimes it's like I don't have time to send this to right. so I'm gonna sit here and learn how to do it myself and just release it and get it out you know exactly. <laughs> And that is true to who I am as an artist. I can't say that for anybody else, but that's a part of being true to who I am. And it's like, you don't necessarily want to keep, because I've been there, I've been, Lord knows, you don't want to keep listening to it over and over and over again until yeah. you go like, oh my God, like you, then you yes. start picking stuff and it's yeah. like, just, just send it. Like, <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Because I will nitpick. I nitpicked a song for a whole year. See, I've and done the same. Really yeah. And, and then one day, my just do, <laughs> just do it. It's perfect. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, you think so? Okay, we gonna do it. Right, right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And those are the ones that you like. You just wanted to get out, but those are the ones that hit people in a different way. I will say for me recently was, are you sure? I literally, my boyfriend and I, we were working on that and I nitpicked it before I released that song. I nitpicked it so much. And he was like, please just, just do it. Just put it out there. That's what we do. That is what we do. Yes. I nitpicked that song for a year before I released it. And finally I was like, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. And boom. <laughs> takes for someone else to hear it it <laughs> does like, it no, does no right <laughs> look at this part though you don't think this part right. <laughs> <laughs> so i 100 percent agree with you on that. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> yes so yeah just continue to be true to who you are and whatever that, you know, whatever that entails, as long, you know, as long as you happy with your work, that that's excellent. Yes. So, All right, so we have had a very fun time up to this point. I mean, y'all listen, this young lady <laughs> is bringing the fire so much so that she burned up my internet connection. And, <laughs> and she was willing to go ahead and take over the reins and host the rest of this on her side. So thank you so much, G. Sure, for <laughs> no problem. Keep <laughs> it going, okay? But uh, yes, I'm on the East Coast. We dealing with frozen pipes and all types of stuff. So it, it dealt with the connection. I have no idea. But anyway, we were at the point of telling the people how to contact you. They're going to love the songs that you have out, the ones that are coming. How do we reach you? 
Um, so you can find me on YouTube under G So Blessed. That's where you'll find my music. And then I'm on all streaming platforms. If you want to book me or if you have like any inquiries, business inquiries, you can find me on Instagram. And okay. I am G So Beautiful on Instagram. Okay. All Thanks. right. Wonderful. So I'll make sure to have that typed out as well. So you all see how it's spelled. Um, you will hear snippets of the songs that's coming out, what she has out now. Um, you have another song out that you didn't talk about. It's called Worth It, right? Yes, I do. That was actually my first release. Okay, now that is a beautiful song. Beautiful song. I even love the cover art to that. I was like, okay. Look. Thank you. My <laughs> husband took them photos. <laughs> okay, husband. Good job with the photography. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yes, so that is awesome. I'm very proud of you. As from coming from as a big cousin, first of all, I'm very proud of you and the progress that you have made. I have seen you along the journey musically, and I'm proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. And as a, an artist to artist, I respect everything that you're putting out. It's quality work. Excellent. So hopefully... Say, oh. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I also wanted to add when you asked about motivation, I do really need to give credit to you. Oh, wow. Thank to Mike, <laughs> to Duran, to my dad, my mom, like yes. everybody that has went before me. <laughs> And for at least, like, you give me encouragement. When I see you do it, when I see you having a music video, I know, okay, if Javon could do it, <laughs> we got the same blood. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, if you can do it. So you have motivated me so much. And I got to tell you, too, one of my favorite songs by you, and it's in my spirit, because sometimes it'll just, you know how songs just linger if you need it? Yes. Yes, I be strong and courageous. <laughs> oh my gosh! Listen, <laughs> listen. L that is my favorite. I'm sorry. Oh, I know it's an old one. It. No, no, listen. Favorite. Anything is nice. <laughs> favorite. So I have to give oh, credit to you, you as well because I you motivate me straight up. I'm not even. No, I, appreciate, <laughs> I appreciate that, and I, I'm going to say, "Be strong, courageous." That's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> Man, love that it. That is so my much. song. Like, I, yeah, so I appreciate Oh, man. You you are. Are. I can't supposed to have a host. I'm you. sorry. <laughs> I just had to say that. I just had to say that because we come from like a long line of, you know, musicians yeah. and singers. And so yes. you got to give credit because it's like you paved the way, kind of. You, right. you paved the way. I'm your little cousin, you know, and so it's like, if you, I see you doing it and you're so talented and gifted and I'm like, you have courage, like you travel, like you do things that I'm like, can't do that. Like, <laughs> you know, I tell myself that, you know, but I'm like, yes, you know, I know you I can. can. You can, yes. But it helps to see someone who yeah. is family doing it. Yes. Well, I appreciate that. I really do. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> you so funny. I'm not going to play with you. <laughs> you so funny. <laughs> no, for real. Thank you so much. That means a lot uh, because it is, it gets tough as a woman in this industry when you do have a long line of family that has, you know, gone before me and, and done this and they are very opinionated when it comes to For sure. Music, and I have it on both sides. So it's like trying to find that balance of finding my own way, but yeah. also, um, you know, being respectful and hearing what they have to say. So that's yeah. why I was so, so adamant about remaining true to you as an artist you know what I mean yes. finding that voice and then sticking with it and it's not easy believe me because you are compared a lot to you know strangers will come up and be like aren't you related to so-and-so yes I am but you know this is my lane <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep 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 so yeah so just 
So Just true. Continue to stay the course and you got this. You have the gift, you have the talent. I really enjoy listening to you guys' music. I think Thank it's going to go far. So just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you're you. You're welcome. Yes, of course. Now, y'all, make sure after all of that heartfelt love <laughs> and appreciation, y'all make, make sure y'all go and listen to this young lady's music. Listen to my oh, friends. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> <laughs> you have gotten to uh, you've gotten to know her a little more, knowing that she is up and coming, and the music speaks for itself. Songwriter, singer, very talented, working with some top producers as well. So you guys make sure that you show her some love. Go find her, like she said, on her social media platforms. Um, you want to look, and I'll have all of this linked. Uh, on on the podcast so you guys just make sure you show her some love show her some support g thank you so much again for being a part of the show being one of my first guests to appear on on kicking it with jaylene i appreciate it y'all make sure you stay tuned for the next episode Bye. bye All right. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kicking It with Jaylene. As I talk to G So Blessed, make sure that you go and stream all of her music available on every streaming platform. You'll see it under G So Blessed. Or the other song that I really love that she talks about, On My Way, is under Cadence. So you definitely want to check that song out as well. Okay, so next week closes out this season one of Kicking It With Jay Lene as I sit down and talk to Shaysky J. She's actually going to flip the script a little bit. So you'll want to sit down and watch this one. She's not actually a singer, producer, any of that. So you want to get to know what her artistry is. All right, guys. See you next week. Thank you so much for watching all the episodes up to this point. And if you haven't, make sure you go check them out. Have a blessed night or day whenever you catch this. And we'll see you next week. Everything and more. Though the world tries to make us feel we don't belong. This nation was built right on our backs. Although we hit the short end, but these are the facts.